what's going on everybody it's jada black here i'm back with another video i appreciate everybody for tuning in uh make sure you like this video if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe hopefully you like the content that's being provided you know i'll be consistent as, a, as like i always am <laughs> I'm, I'm always consistent <laughs> i veered off every now and then but i would say i've been consistent for most of the part of my content making so make sure if you're new subscribe like this video share it i'm going to be discussing something i've talked about here and there um you you can even look at my women who've hit the wall series and, and i've referenced the side chicks and how women are embracing it you know you know there are women who will tell me that i'm lying when i say that there are women who embrace being side chicks they will literally say that i'm lying i'm making it up that there are women who don't want to be side pieces they want to be the main chick but when you go and you do research you will see that there are tons of articles that tell you that it's cool to be a side chick you should choose to be the side piece and i want y'all to understand there's nothing cool about it i did a podcast i believe a couple days ago uh, I could put a link in the description box as well as the comment section to my latest podcast. It's on my other channel. Make sure you go and subscribe to that channel too. And I talked about in it uh, about this woman, this young girl, 21 years old. She sent nude pics of the guy she was messing around with, the married man she was messing around with. She sent photos of him and videos of him to his wife and to his 14 year old daughter on Instagram which basically is revenge porn now you don't see a lot of women get caught up in revenge porn but it happens because women can get very emotional they can get super emotional they get in their feelings more than anybody why do you think you have uh, situations where men are being the channels are being flagged uh, they're being trolled because women get in their feelings because of YouTube content and what is said on video so if i know they can get emotional over youtube videos i can only imagine a woman getting in her feelings when she realized she's being played by a married man who she knows damn well she should not be messing with you know who his wife is you know who his daughter is and you still continue to deal with this guy she was arrested but i don't know what's going to come of it because it's hard to get to to really I don't say punish, but to, to have women actually get convicted of these things because they're always going to get the benefit of the doubt. This woman sent revenge porn to a 14 year old girl and people are still going to take this woman's side because they're going to think that the, that the married man is the bad guy. Of course, he's an idiot. Of course, he brought a lot of that on himself. But that woman made a conscientious choice to send pics of the guy she was messing around with to his wife and to his daughter on Instagram okay so she should get no benefit of the doubt she knew what she was doing you're messing around with a married man he played with your heart and now you're hurt we've seen other instances of women who are side pieces fighting other women even killing other women all because they with some ain't shit man who's manipulating both of them and they can't see it until it's too late and that's the premise of this video because you have a lot of women who get their hearts played with because they're playing with fire i've heard women have not heard but women have told me or one particular female literally told me that the only types of alpha males are men who are married or men who are in jail it's literally what they told me and I think that's true. I think a lot of women see married men as alpha males, even though the majority of them are betas. And you can't be in a marriage with a woman for a while without, you know, taking on her feminine traits. When I mean taking on feminine traits, I mean basically having to be her, you know, do boy, having to do what she says, not having really any control in that marriage. Because you know, if she divorces you, you're going to lose a lot in that divorce. And women know this. They know this. And that's how they keep you in control. 
So you will have these young girls messing around with these older men who manipulated them mentally. A lot of these girls didn't have father figures, so they see these men as father figures. They're assertive. Yeah, they're assertive because they have a woman at home. Okay? And they're assertive to the fact that they want something on the side. And that's where you come in. You can be a man who's single. You've been single for a long time. You put on a wedding ring and you go out and about. If women see you with that wedding ring, their attitude towards you is going to completely change. Because a lot of women see men with wedding rings as men who women want. You know what I'm saying? That he's taken. You know? You know, they, they honestly, I think a lot of women see single men as damaged goods, just like we see a lot of women who have kids as damaged goods. I mean, that's the facts. But uh, but women won't say this. They will not say that this. this is why they're constantly chasing men, other women's men, because they think that the men who are married are the men who are the upstanding alpha males. You know, he he's going to commit to them. Women get remarried a lot, but I don't know if men get remarried a lot. A man could get divorced and he'll never get married again. I also did, um, also in one of my podcasts, I spoke about this this ex police officer who moved to a different state with his wife. They divorced. He had retired from the force, and he started dating this younger woman, living, you know, going on vacations, and you know, what I'm saying, just enjoying himself, not even thinking about being a family man anymore. Cause that's what a lot of men are. We if we spend a long time in a marriage, we ain't trying to go back to that. We ain't going back to that. And the thing is about side chicks, side chicks gotta understand no man is going to marry you. He may date you and sleep around with you, but he's not gonna marry you. He's not gonna leave his wife for you. No man wants to date an easy woman. And if a married man sees that a woman is, is gonna lure herself to be in a side piece he's not gonna he's not gonna respect you he's not gonna feel like he has to put any work into that situation because you're already willing to deal with him you have a lot of these women who give advice on dating and being gold diggers they will tell you that it's okay to be a side chick they'll talk about how they got married to the man they were screwing around with and then they'll pretend like they didn't know who that woman was you knew who that woman was but you ain't got no morals. Now, if somebody's screwing your husband, you're going to be mad. You're going to want to fight. You're going to want to divorce him. But that's how you got him. And, I, and I've told this about a lot of females. Listen, man. Women don't like each other. Just because a woman is on some women empowerment shit does not mean that she likes you. She wants to really be your friend. She wants to use you. And you don't understand this. You see, I understand it. Okay. I see it for what it is. I see a lot of the fake friendships and the always, you know, greeting each other. It's fakeness. Because once they get to know each other, they're going to hate each other eventually. Why do you think so many women are willing to get with married men or men in relationships and show zero respect to that woman? See, women will be cool with you in front of your face, but behind your back, they'll be trying to screw your boyfriend and your husband. The side chick culture is growing more and more because you have a lot of women who don't know the meaning of a relationship, especially marriage, too. So they'll be side pieces for a little while. But what they'll do is they'll give the guy an ultimatum because after a while, they realize they're being used and they, and they don't want to be used anymore. So they try to give him an ultimatum and when that doesn't work, she'll try to expose him. She'll do what this, this female did and try to send nude videos and photos to the wife to mess up his situation, which is totally that guy's fault. You know, I, I, I don't feel bad for any man who has a side chick and she exposes him. I don't feel sorry for you put yourself in that situation. Own up to it. It's your fault. And then when you have women who are out there posting revenge porn, you get caught up, you get arrested, that's on you. No man is going to respect you. No man is going to want to be around you like that. They can't trust you. And women are emotional people. So you do have to be very careful how you deal with them. 
Like I said, see it right here on YouTube how emotional women can get over words. And they don't even know you. They don't even know you, but they can get emotional over words. <laughs> words will get these females in their feelings. Imagine if you're having sl having not sl having sex with her and you know she finds out that you have a wife. Now she may still continue to deal with you or she may get upset with you. You'll see how emotional she gets as well. And we really have to analyze our situation and put ourselves in the best situation to succeed. But you see, the problem is that we have such so much social media. We have easy access to meeting people that it's hard to be faithful. And a lot of women need to understand just because you got that, ring, that wedding ring don't mean that man's going to be faithful. Because there's a lot of women out there who throw themselves at married men. Married men have become second to celebrities. There are celebrity men. And then there's married men. Married men are right there. I mean, when you're a married man, you're instantly going to your you, the the attention that you get from women is gonna go up exponentially. I think that's the only good thing about marriage for a man is the amount of attention you're gonna get from women. And I don't know if men under I think some men do. I think some men understand that. Because that, again, marriage only benefits women. But when it comes to getting the attention of other women, which I know a lot of you dudes want to do because y'all support all these dating coaches. So I know y'all looking for women. Walk around with a wedding ring. Tell women you're married. Look how different they act towards you. <laughs> Make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell. I'll see you on the next video.